Hey guys, welcome to all of your recordings. Today I'm going to be unboxing the Kuma Cam 3Axis Smartphone Stabilizer. Alright guys, so I have been using this Kuma Cam here for about three months now. And I'm loving the product so far. It uh, works really good. At the end of the video, I'll, I'll show you a comparison with and without the Kuma Cam. So uh, let's get into the unboxing. Uh, first thing I want to do is, well, first thing, let's look at the box. Here you have the Kuma Cam with the iPhone 6 or 6 Plus. Uh, that's a little logo, I guess. Uh, Zoo Young is the, um, I don't know if it's the manufacturer or I don't know what this is right here. Uh, but it's a smooth CR professional 3-axis handheld stabilizer gimbal uh, on the bottom 3-axis handheld stabilizing gimbal same on uh, Left and right sides on the on the sides right here doesn't say anything So go ahead and uh, slide it up you Got a little foam piece right here All right, so the first thing you see is the uh, the gimbal right here. This is the uh, the Kuma cam it does say Kuma Cam on the side right here. So put it aside for now. Alright, on the right here, this is what you're going to use to charge the batteries. It does come with two batteries and underneath this is the uh, the cable which is a USB port. Which is great because you can use um, pretty much USB for anything. Uh, there's a car charger that has it. You can use it for your uh, laptop. It's a very uh, generic charging cable so that's that's awesome this right here is a uh, like counterweight for uh, larger phones sometimes if you put like an iPhone 6 plus or um, a bigger phone in there it might kind of tilt tilt a little bit so this is good to counterbalance the, the weight so that's everything in the box let me go ahead and get this over here and the cool thing about the Kuma cam is it doesn't matter what kind of phone you have it don't matter if you have a Samsung or or iPhone or Google or it doesn't matter because um, it locks in here with the uh, adjustable clip right here so it fits any phone which is cool because this is like a kind of more of an investment this thing uh, does not come cheap it actually costs around like $350 maybe a little cheaper now um, but it's a uh, second like investment because this thing right here doesn't like I said it doesn't matter what phone you have but not only that it's also good for uh, future phones to come. It's not like when you're buying a phone case, it's only good for that phone and the next year the new phone comes out and you, it's, it's no good anymore, you gotta throw it away. With this, you can use it for uh, many phones to come in the future, so it's uh, more of an investment. Let's go ahead and get these batteries in here. Uh, it goes in the bottom, you just screw the bottom piece off. Slide these batteries in here and then screw it back in. And to turn the power on, it's the little button right here. And the um, the blue light will come on. And when it flashes, that's the uh, indicator for how much battery life you have. If you have four flashes, that means it's full. If you have um, you know three or two that means the battery is getting low and the battery does affect how good it performs if you're running on two percent or one percent it's probably going to tilt a little bit and it's not going to be as uh, as stable as it should be which is why when i used it i got about five hours of battery life um i think it's like between three to seven hours is what they say but I got, I know I got up to five hours, maybe even six hours. All right, I'm filming this video with my iPhone 6 right now, so I'm gonna use the iPhone 4S for the uh, example. All you wanna do is just kinda lift the top up and slide it in there, and the phone fits in there like that. All right, so to power it on, to get it working, you just wanna hold this button here on the side, and it goes, and it just, will flip into place. So there's a top button and the bottom button. What these do is they tilt up and down. So the top will tilt up and the bottom just hold it and it'll tilt down. There's three different modes. 
The uh, first mode is a default mode, which is like a free look. When you when you when you first power it on, it's just gonna be like wherever you look, it's it's gonna go, and it's gonna do its best to stay stable. And the uh, second mode is if you just tap this one time, it's a lock mode, so it will lock into one object. See, as, as I turn, it doesn't want to look the other way. It stays on that one object. And then when you hit it two times, it's always going to point forward. And what this does is it kind of, as you can see, these turn sideways instead of up and down. So it's always going to look where your knuckles are, is a good way to put it. Because it's always going to be facing down or wherever you're looking at. So after using this device for three months now, it is nice. I do enjoy it. Uh, there's a few things I wish it had. Like, for instance, if you're trying to film and you get the camera pointed out, especially if you're trying to do like a selfie or something, when you have it pointed out, you can't hit record. There's no record button. button. So you have to bring it to you. Tap record on the phone and then bring it back out and then try to get where you want. So that's one thing I wish they added. However, there is a remote control you can buy. I'm not sure how much it is, but it's like an extra thing. You can buy it and pretty much you're able to uh, click the button to be able to record when you want to record and stop when you want without bringing it to you. But, you know, for paying this kind of money, I feel like I should already have that option, which I wish it did. There's also the extension pole you can buy, which is kind of like a selfie stick, which uh, is good if you want to get like a, you know, a farther shot or it's hard to reach if you're going over a, a lake or something or if you want the illusion of having a drone. Um, that's a, a nice thing as well. But once again, not having that button to be able to record. And it also doesn't have the... The tilt functions either so it, you know let's say you want to start recording and you hit record once you bring it up if you notice it's tilted too far down or too far up you can't really adjust it from where you are you gotta bring it back to you and then hit the buttons from here and then try to bring it back up and then you know see if you're in the shot or not or, or you know if you got what you want in the shot so there's a few things that you know they need to improve on or it would be helpful but overall, it's a nice device. It uh, works really good. Um, I'm about to go ahead and show you the videos I took in, in when it, when on my trip to New York. Um, I shot with the iPhone 6. It's the, um, with the Kuma Cam and without the Kuma Cam, just a little comparison so you guys can see how more stable it is with the Kuma Cam. And it works really good. I appreciate you guys watching the video. Stay tuned for the next video.